Hi guys, it's Michael uh, here. It's the silent review. It was supposed to be a silent review of the 5800X. I uh, just bought this uh, today from CCL in the United Kingdom for like 420 quid, so uh, almost MSRP. And uh, yeah, I can't be bothered basically waiting uh, for any longer. I wanted to buy the 5900X or the 5950, but as you know, they're all out of stock. But I suspect, you know, the eight cores, Come on guys, how much do you need? What, what what do you need? Your gaming, your recording, your streaming. It's always better to have two computers rather than one. It's going to be more reliable. So I said to myself, come on boss, just, you know, chill out and uh, do what you need to do. Uh, I got the NR200 uh, from Cooler Master. I just uh, bought this case as well, specifically for this rig. Uh, all the components that you see here uh, have been listed in my previous videos. I'm just I'm just changing the CPU and changing the case. I suspect that the Noctua uh, NH-U12A will be sufficient. You know, I, this 5800X is quite hot. It's one CCD, one CCX uh, CPU, so it can get uh, a bit toasty. Um, but um, some cryonaut thermal paste uh, will be uh, sufficient um, to cool it down. I had like 85, 87 degrees when uh, heat testing, stress, stress testing the CPU with Cinebench uh, R23 and I, yeah, 85, 87 degrees for like 10 minutes and it didn't go any higher with this cooler in this case. So um, I also had uh, a result of like 15,000, above 15,000 um, points in Cinebench. So I reckon that's a, a standard result for the CPU. Yeah, the, the motherboard is equipped with 60, 64 gigs of RAM, 3200 MHz. Uh, I've got the SFX uh, 750 power supply, lots of Noctua uh, fans. I've got a couple of them at the bottom uh, and one um, at the top. A couple of SSDs, front and back. So overall, I reckon this system will, will, will gonna last me a long time. I'm upgrading from 2700X, uh, so I could really see the difference when rendering this, this video, uh, it's really noticeable. So the, the, the airflow is uh, bottom to top, basically the big fan is supplying air to the case, the middle fan is supplying air to the GPU and the little one, tiny one is supplying the um, the back of the motherboard uh, to cool down the SSD and stuff. I tried to do some sort of cable management. Uh, it's a small case, although I previously had a even a smaller case uh, DIY, DIY build. Uh, so I reckon I know I did a good job. Of course, the NR200 does not come with a HDD LED, so I had to place one uh, myself and mod the case a little bit. So now I have the power button and light uh, and the HDD light as well in this case. Uh, <laughs> So overall, I really like the build. It's uh, nice. It's a bit heavy. The case is a bit heavy. Uh, the Noctua fill fits nicely there, although it's out of spec. The, the cooler is out of spec, but it fits nicely into this case. You won't have any problems with, um, with uh, clearance and stuff. So this is how it looks from the back. Mm, and the bottom fans yeah, are just bolted into place with some washers to not to damage the case uh, because the spacing is too um, too uh, big basically for the screws uh, overall uh, it's it's a nice build I really like it it's a bit the case is a bit heavy the on its own it, it's a bit heavy but um, it feels it feels okay
So the first thing I did was just bump up the megahertz on the RAM, turning on the DOCP profile to 3200 megahertz. Uh, I'm planning to upgrade to like NVIDIA 40 series in the future. This case uh, supports a uh, free slot uh, GPUs. Uh, the biggest ones at the moment, the 3090, will fit in this case, no problems. However, you will have to remove the bottom fans. Mm, so, generally speaking, I hope to use this computer as my daily driver for a very long time and I can't really be bothered waiting for the 39, uh, 59, sorry, 100X and uh, come on guys, just give me a break. Thanks for watching, see you later.